Well, this is just going to be one long shoot. I think in um, social media terms it's called a raw video. But it's such a beautiful morning and I'm about to go into the market in Carrick on Shannon. There's a farmer's market on there on a Thursday. And if you look up there, there's the waning moon, which is rather gorgeous. Got my glasses on, but I'm still finding it difficult <laughs> to see on this. Oh, wait a moment. Yeah, there's a bit of a cloud has gone over it. So the colours here at Belton Cottage are developing so beautifully in this early autumn. Well, it's almost mid-autumn actually. Hang on. Um, no, it's not. In the Celtic calendar, it is the last month of autumn because, of course, November is Samhain, which is the first month of winter. But, of course, here in the west of Ireland, you know, there is this beautiful temperate climate which allows for growth, even for growth to continue well into the autumn and sometimes the early winter. Do you remember when I cut back this fennel? I cut it all back down to ground level only about three weeks ago. It's on one of the videos anyway. But look, look how it's regrown and it's about to flower again. Isn't that beautiful and amazing and magical? You know, there's a lot of people on social media, especially Facebook, talking about magic and the spells and the tools you need and all this stuff and, you know, wicker and so much more. And it's all fascinating. But you know what the real magic is? The real magic is what's happening here. This is real magic. And you can see it. Unlike so much to do with belief systems, this is something you can see. And if you were here, you could smell it. You could taste it, you could touch it, you could hear it. So it fills the senses completely. <laughs> Jack just ran past me. One of these days is going to knock me over. But anyway, no doubt I'll just get up and dust myself off. So I was looking at my little dragon in the tree here and the tree has actually grown into it so I can't move it now. There it is, in the tree. That's magical. <laughs> and the spectacular colours. Um, I must show you this. I came out yesterday morning and this big piece of Budlia had been snapped off. Now there was no wind to speak of. And this pot, which I'll stand up now, had been knocked over. Now, I have been listening to the stags, the, the, the deer, you know, the stags, up on the hill behind Ballyfermore, in behind the cottage up there and, I, and I've been listening to them over recent days because they're rotting. Well I think that perhaps a deer or maybe even a stag came down and uh, came past here and knocked this. It's the only explanation I can think of because um, it would be the only animal big enough to do that kind of well not it's not a huge amount of damage it's nothing really but to make that impact um and it so happened as well that the night before i discovered this there was some very interesting noises outside and jack was barking quite a lot so wouldn't that be something these lovely colors look and the clouds are moving very fast. I'll just hold the camera still here for a moment and you can see. Isn't that beautiful? So I did a Facebook Live this morning because 
again there are so many people who are enduring lockdown and all the penalties that come with a pandemic and uh, a lot of them you know tune into Facebook and enjoy actually just um, being virtually here for a short time especially in the morning because the morning is always filled with so much promise and so much light and you know it's just so much beauty look at all this bistort here And I'm now convinced that this spot underneath the tree here has been used by, I think it would be the fox, because it's quite flattened all the time. There's something sitting in here at night. Could well be the fox, you know, hunting. And um, there's a little space in there, which I think is used, possibly used, by the fox during the day. this beautiful light you know the passing of the seasons is all about light you get the seasons um, being affected by the weather of course so we're in for a very long beautiful lingering autumn and like I say, autumn finishes at the end of this month on the Celtic calendar. And I think you'll, you'll visually see that here at Bealtaine. You'll visually see the bearing of the trees at that point, just before Samhain. And between now and then, of course, it's just simply about the light I've lit the stove, you can see the smoke coming out of the chimney. Now there was rain last night, a fair bit of rain. So I want to walk you down here to the stream. And this morning when I was doing the Facebook Live video, it just struck me. It really struck me about the, the reality of magic. That... You know, we, we read things, we hear things, we're taught things. But to actually see something, to physically see, I mean most people when it comes to belief systems, they see in a metaphysical way. But you simply cannot deny the power and the presence of the great goddess when you look at this work. It is so amazing. It's so beautiful. It's such an incredible testament to the magic of Mother Earth. to the enduring abundance, to the eternal regeneration. Again, people speak about eternity and, you know, what, what does it mean? If you cannot visualise it, what does it mean? And here, you look at this, which 16 years ago was nothing more than a rushy field and a very sad looking cottage. And the land has regenerated in such an incredibly abundant way that it is physical evidence, physical evidence of what is perceived as the metaphysical. You just cannot deny it. You look at it.
and you know what flowing water represents? It represents memory. It holds memory. We now know that water holds memory. That's been proven by scientific experiments. And what caused there to be a spring well here on this land that had never, ever been discovered? Until the Bieltona project began and I discovered the aquifer and broke open the rock and the water flowed. Now, to my mind's eye, that is the memory of the great goddess of Mother Earth being released and flowing abundantly out into the world. If you are on the other side of the world, at one point, this water that's flowing here becomes part of the water that you see, that you feel, that you swim in, that you sail in, that you fish in. So what memory has been released here? I think it is the memory of Eden. It is the memory of abundance. It is the memory of the great love and patience and faith that the great goddess Mother Earth has in us, her children, in all her children. We are not the only sentient beings on this beautiful earth. This water that's flowing will one day fall on you as rain because all water is connected. That is the one thing that connects every single being on this planet. Water. And here it is flowing, magically released, never stops flowing. Joyful, incredible, nurturing, nourishing, abundant, telling a story, a new story, a story of possibilities, a story of what can be, a story of I have not forgotten you. Magic is not sitting before an altar, wishing or uttering words. The real magic is this. It's her. It's her. And we've forgotten how to listen to her. Do you know, there was a song that Bob Dylan sang and the words went I've forgotten more than you'll ever know about her. We've all forgotten more than we'll ever know about her. Because we choose to forget. Blessings to you all on this beautiful day.